today? Yeah, it's just typical pre-season really, just trying to get the legs sticking over and uh, the boys have came back in good shape and yeah, we're looking forward to a strong pre-season. You were away from the group that evening with Lee? Yeah, I was with Lee Spur. Is there any reason you were just doing more, sort of banking more miles? And no, nah, just getting the legs sticking over, yeah. yeah. What, uh, I guess in this block it is specifically about putting a lot of loads in, but is there any, um, anything you've sort of worked with uh, the coaching staff in terms of what you personally want to work on before Christmas? Oh, I think for myself it's just, you know, just continuing to, to build the tank up and um, just to continue to lift weights and try to get stronger. I mean, um, that's what we're all trying to do here and um, with our footy last year it obviously didn't work out the way we wanted to, so come back and improve and, and drive ourselves throughout the pre-season and, and yeah, try to go very well. Are you looking to move into a more permanent midfield role or will still be that high half forward? What, what type of role? Are you oh, I'm happy to play wherever Ross wants me to. Yeah. Were you doing handstands when the sub rule got scrapped? No, I wasn't. Nah, this 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 time of year, I mean, we're all all we're focusing on is obviously our running and our weights programs and all that. So we're not really thinking about that at the moment. We're only two weeks back into it. So um, yeah, just getting the legs ticking over and just enjoying being back here. Has it been hard for you though with the, being a sub quite a lot when you have played, knowing at least next year that rule might be in existence? Yeah, it has been. But I mean, I'm happy to to do whatever's needed for the team. I mean, I'm happy to play um, if that's what I have to do. So. In terms of uh, the rehab group, how was yeah, I haven't had much to do with Nathan actually uh, so far coming back, but um, yeah, he's looking in ripper shape as always. We know he's a constant professional and uh, we can trust him away from the club and, and what he's been doing. So yeah, he's came back in great nick and I'm sure he'll be fine. And Harley, been all participated with the group in the first four years in that first week he trained mainly, but he's been away the last couple of weeks. Has something been... Oh, I'm, not, I'm not, not, sure. Not, not sure to be honest with you, yeah. Um, Who's your junior care coach? Are you working with Anthony Rock or David Harlow forward? Do you know that yet? Um, no, I'm not so sure yet. No. So just at this stage, it's just pretty much getting out there and and trying to build the fitness base and, and get the skills out early. What impact have the new assistant coaches had on the group so far? Yeah, I mean, well, it's well documented that they bring a lot of wealth and knowledge um, coming over. So we're we're extremely happy to, to have them on board. And and so far, you know, it's just as I've said before, it's been a lot of running and a lot of skill work. So. We know that they bring a wealth of experience and um, yeah, we're really happy to have them on board. The Hawthorn element with Hale and, and Guerra, uh, what have they been able to teach you so far that, that you might not have known from the way Hawthorn have played? Well, as I said, at the moment it's been more just the basic skills and basic running components, so um, we haven't dug too much into any game plan specifics yet. You've been on the fringes for a few years now, but uh, you're obviously comfortable enough to sign on for a, a couple more years. What, what do you see in terms of staying here in Perth and staying yeah, well, for starters, I mean, absolutely love love the boys to death here and love the place, you know, love the fans and, um, yeah, it was a pretty easy decision for me to stay. Um, you know, the, there's obviously a lot of driving forces and, um, yeah, there's a lot of, obviously, uh, pressure for spots coming through and, um, yeah, I'm happy staying here and I think I'll get the best out of myself and, you know, you've got guys like Hayden Ballantyne, Michael Walters, Matthew Pavlich, got a lot of guys that you can work and learn off, so, yeah, I'm stoked to be here for another two years. What have you learned about yourself and your football in terms of having to work hard for your spot and play on the edge, so to speak? Yeah, well, I think it's good. You just have to be patient coming in, especially in the situation that I was in coming into, obviously, um, a club that was going well. And um, I mean, you just got to you know, wait your turn and try to play constant, uh, consistent footy at waffle level. And um, yeah, just be patient and, and your time will come. You did this year, it's going to still be another hard year of trying to get your spot. How were you when? Uh, a player like Harley gets signed. Are you, are you happy for that? To try and for the club's yeah, abs absolutely. I mean, it's a it's a team sport, so stoked to have Harley on board. You know, we've seen what he can produce. You know, he's number two draft pick, two thousand and ten, fantastic player, and we're absolutely stoked to have him here. Uh, your trip to the US with the boys was well documented. What was it? Were there some things you learned from from being around guys like Steph Curry and those guys and seeing how they prepared? I know you got a little bit of an insight. Yeah, well, I think from what it's perceived to look like, it looked like we were just getting photos with them and, and all that kind of stock standard stuff. But the best thing about that trip, uh, high up tours, run through Aaron Ford, was just being able to to learn what they do, you know, day to day, how they prepare. Um, you know, guys like Steph Curry, KD, you know, they've won the last two MVPs. So, I mean, they're at the top of the, their sport. and. Um, even things like dealing with you know pressures, outside pressures, um, you know dealing with pressures from obviously fans and being expected to to not necessarily carry the team, but be obviously a driving force for their organisation. And um, I was saying before that 
even having lunch with like a Jeremy Lin, Cody Zeller, those type of guys. I mean, Jeremy Lin's gone from the highest of highs when he's at New York to, you know, the lowest lows at the start when he was obviously undrafted, trying to get into the system. So, I mean, you learn those things off those guys, and um, yeah, it's just absolutely stoked to to be able to rub shoulders with them and uh, to be able to just hang around them in general was really fun. Did you watch them train at all? Did you pick up anything that you, that surprised you from that? Didn't watch them train, but I think um, just more to the day-to-day -day stuff. I mean, they get pumped up so much, and obviously they're well um, known worldwide. Um, but just dealing with them one-on-one, -on -one, it just hit like they just go back to their normal blokes, and they just love to get away from their sport, and they love to just chat, and um, they were happy to come and help us out and give us some tips. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. How are you when you got a shout out from Shaq on the? <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was a bit surprising, but it was good. Yeah, but even those guys, so Shaq, Charles Barkley, Kenny Johnson. I mean, they're former All Stars and um, well documented players. So just being able to sit backstage with them and, and have a laugh with them, and even they were giving us tips on what they used to do. They obviously had to deal with a lot of stuff um, back in the day, and um, yeah, just being able to to rub shoulders again with those type of personalities was fantastic. I think he compared you to uh, to Blake Griffin. You happy with that? Oh, absolutely stoked with that one. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned putting some weight on there. Yeah. Have you, you targeted a number? Or I haven't necessarily targeted a number. I mean, it's well documented that I came in fairly skinny and a little pasty kid from Victoria. But um, yeah, even seeing a guy like Nat Fife, I mean, the amount of size that he's put on in a couple of years, obviously without losing any running ability, um, it's something to look up to. So I'm just consistently trying to work as hard as I can in the gym and get my body right. Is that a difficult process, putting weight on but still getting the aerobic work in and not losing it? Uh, it, it is as such, but um, I mean, we spend enough time in the gym and, and obviously working out there that, you know, this, this is our life, this is what we do, so we have to. Captaincy wise, where's the playing group at, at the moment and what are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so we'll do, um, we have a play driven process, so this will be a long way down the track from now and probably be after Christmas, I assume, but um, yeah, just it's a play driven process and whatever the, the results come of the playing group is what the captain will be. So you're happy if it's, if it's Pav or if it's Nat? No, it's just a, a team thing and whatever happens, happens, yeah. You haven't got a preference at the moment? Uh, that's just between the playing groups. So.